Don't miss out on valuable insights and actionable tips that can potentially shape your financial future. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But you guys know what time it is. We're going to be discussing CASP itself. You know, I was unable to give you guys an update earlier. You know, I'm not in my, my usual setting right now, but you guys know we have to make time to give you guys an update. So let's waste no more time and get right into it. So if we're looking at the overall market today, we're seeing a little bit of red across the board. And that is because, once again, Bitcoin has seen a little bit of a minor pullback. But if you're seeing Caspa, it's up 10.6. Guys, it hit a new all-time high. The target that we were speaking about, exactly that target has been reached. So if you do hold Caspa, do watch this video till the absolute end. But now let's get right into it. So if we're looking at the price of Caspa right now, you can see this for yourself. 18.1 cents. This is insane to see. The overall rank for Caspa in the cryptocurrency market ranks is at the top 25th spot. It's also up 11.2% in BTC compared to the past 24 hours. If we're looking at its market cap, this is where excitement comes into play. We're looking at the market valuation for Caspa above $4 billion. This is insane. And if you did watch my video a bit, I think about two to three days back, I said Caspa has esteem for itself to even go up to the $6 billion market cap around that range. But again, that's just my own opinion. Only time is going to tell. The 24-hour trading volume right now is $105 million. Of course, we're not seeing half a billion dollar volume, a billion dollar volume, a billion dollar volume. And of course, that is to be expected because as far as centralized exchange goes, we're not listed as the big boys as of now. But speaking about the big boys, this move that we're seeing right now could be due to that. I think this is being caused by some massive exchanges that are accumulating Casper right now. I've been quite clear about that from the beginning, and that's just, of course, my own opinion. But before we go into it any further, as always, just a quick disclaimer. Anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency. So I'm going to start with Bitcoin, of course, because at the end of the day, Bitcoin is the king of the markets. And you guys want to make this a habit to take a look at Bitcoin on a day-to-day -day basis because everything is correlated to BTC. So you can see this for yourself. We did see Bitcoin fall back down to $51,255 just a few hours back. Of course, the entire market is going to react to that. But surprisingly, if you're looking at the Bitcoin dominance index right now, the Bitcoin dominance index has been plummeting. And this is a really good sign for altcoins. So if you are an altcoin holder, you love altcoins, you want to see times like these, because right now, if the dominance was sitting still at 54%, and we did see even this minor pullback for Bitcoin, we would have seen altcoins drop down even more compared to what we're seeing right now. So these are some factors, of course, we need to keep in mind and we need to always remember. But overall, remember, Bitcoin is looking great. We're very close to all-time highs, about to enter the 23.6 Fibonacci retracement level. Of course, here in North America, there is a long weekend. The markets are closed. So as I mentioned to you guys in yesterday's update, tomorrow is going to be a really interesting day to see how the market reacts and how Bitcoin reacts. Of course, the CME futures are closed on the weekends. So these are some factors we need to keep in mind. But still, guys, Bitcoin is holding strong around this key resistance mark. But now let's take a look at Caspa because, of course, everyone is here for that. So you could see this for yourself. If you've been watching my Caspa updates over the past two to three weeks, an exact target that I was referring to on my channel was, will you look at that? Look where we're sitting right now. We're sitting at can't make this up. So now let's extend our Fibonacci retracement up to the new price, which is the all-time high. And you can see this for yourself. We are continuously moving the Fibonacci retracement level. It just reminds me of late quarter four of last year when Caspa was just absolutely going crazy. And you can see this for yourself at this point, even at this specific point, Right now, as of recording this update, you're seeing Caspa still not losing its steam. If I were to bring up the measuring tool for you guys, we are just about 3% away from a new all-time high. So can we see a $0.20 of Caspa before Friday? You can't write this off because if you're bringing up the measuring tool for us to hit just a move of about 10% from the current price levels, and of course above this, 1.85 cents, key resistance, there's no resistance and there's no support. Price can go up as much as it wants depending on the buying pressure there is, and at this point, it seems like the buying pressure is high, of course. So now at this point, if you're looking at this move that you're looking at for Caspa, it's just mind boggling. We're seeing this project run up literally 85% in a matter of a week and a half. A week and a half, Caspa has had a rally of about 85%. And of course, I've shared with you guys in the past that some massive course whales are accumulating. We're talking about a million dollar worth of Caspa being added to their portfolios. And again, who do these wallets belong to? 
that's the question that no one knows for sure, but it could be some institutional investors as well as it could be insiders who know that there could be a potential exchange listing coming sooner rather than later. So a lot of excitement in the air right now. A lot of people are excited about layer ones. As you know, layer twos are hyped up and that is the narrative. That is the narrative of this bull market. And I don't think that narrative is going to change. Some people say we're going to see RC tokens going insane, but I think that time is left in the past. I think we're moving forward to different chains that are going to see the attraction. And of course you could see Casp as one of the competitors. Of course, nowhere near Ethereum's level right now, because in terms of adoption, it's still in the early stages. But the people who have done their due diligence and research and understand what Caspa is doing and how it ranks in terms of tech against its big competitors, this is where the excitement is coming into play. As we know, Caspa's nickname is Bitcoin Junior. Some people say this is the next Bitcoin. That is insane to say, but I understand where they're coming from. Of course, if you look at the roadmap and if you look at the white paper, you understand where people are coming from. Nonetheless, we're looking great for Caspa. If you picked up some Casper around that just literally two weeks back, I'm sure you guys have a big smile on your face right now and your boy did mention the importance of that specific support line and you can pretty much see this for yourself. Sometimes the chart just speaks to you and that was one of the things that was something I was looking at. But overall, great things are happening. Let me know down below what you guys personally think. Do you guys agree with this overall take? Do you guys look at something differently? I know the predictions are insane. People are making some insane predictions. But let me know down below what your predictions are and of course what you could be expecting in the upcoming days ahead of us as we close this week, as we close this month of February, which I still can't believe that we're about to close in about a week. So let me know where you see Caspa closing the month. And of course, also let me know what you think is causing this massive, massive rally that we have seen less than two weeks. I would love to know your thoughts down below. Thank you for all your support. It means the world to me. Continue supporting and I will continue to bring out these updates for you guys no matter where I am. Love you guys all and support my channel by giving me a like, dropping me a comment, and subscribing to enjoy more existing updates.